Expected will be thousands of uniformed police, military, fire, and EMS personnel from Buffalo, the Western New York region, and across the country and Canada. Officer Lehner will be laid to rest next week, and as you just heard, his funeral is expected to draw a huge crowd. News Force Jen Schatz joins us with the details on the service, visitation, and how you can help the Lehner family. Jen? Well, Dave, more than 5,000 people are expected to attend Officer Craig Lehner's funeral Wednesday. The Buffalo Police Department announced this morning that his family is welcoming the public to attend both the visitation and the funeral service itself. Now, all this information is available on our website, WIVB.com, as well. Visitation will take place both Monday and Tuesday from 3 until 8 p.m. at Lakeside Funeral Home on Lakeshore Road in Hamburg. The funeral service will be Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock at the Key Bake Center in downtown Buffalo. The final commitment will take place at Forest Lawn Cemetery after that funeral Wednesday. There will be a large procession from the Key Bake Center to the cemetery, and road closures are expected, which of course we'll report as soon as we have the details. Chief of Detectives for the Buffalo Police Department, Dennis Richards, says this will be a solemn military and police funeral. An announcement on where specifically people can donate is still to come, but Chief Richards says for the time being, all monetary donations should go through the Buffalo PBA. Craig's family once again wishes to express their amazement at the overwhelming support in the form of prayers, condolences, expressions of sympathy by so many from near and far. They've been lifted by such a tremendous show of support. Now, as for S.H.I.E.L.D., Officer Lehner's canine companion, Buffalo police say he will have a prominent role in the funeral of his partner. The Lehner family's pastor will be leading the service Wednesday. Of course, questions about security at the Key Bank Center, and again, those road closures will all have details, and we'll bring them to you as we get them. At 5.30, how Buffalo's community is showing their support for the fallen officer in a colorful way. For now, live in the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 5.